Hey guys, I want to give you a nice little tip on how to improve your reading today. So what I see a lot in lessons is that students tend to struggle a lot in reading from a score just because they, they're not sure about the notes on the page, but also they're not sure about the rhythms. So check it out. Let's go to the board. So melodies are up here. Okay. Now melodies, whatever melody you're working on, it doesn't matter. Okay. They're made up of two things. They're made up of notes. Okay, and rhythm, okay, plus all the fancy things later, articulation, dynamics, and everything, yeah, but essentially the, the building block, the melodies are notes and rhythm, okay? So what you want to do when you practice is you want to target each individual block first, okay? So you're really sure about what the notes are, what the rhythm is, okay? So when you then you put them together and you actually play the melody as it is, you're actually a bit stronger and you're just more confident, okay? So, when you have a melody, okay, first, just focus on the notes. Forget about the rhythm, okay? Just play the notes one after the other, really long notes. Bam, bam, bam. So your eyes can have that concentration and the only thing they're, they're thinking of is, what, the, what is that note? What is that note? What is that note? And that's what you want, okay? And you do that a few times. Then, you just move on to the rhythm and you do everything you can to just figure out the rhythm. You play with the metronome, you just figure out where the beats are and everything, okay? And you just play the rhythm, okay? And you do that, do that for a few sessions, a few days, whatever it takes, okay? And then, only then, you put them together, okay? And you play the, your melody. Start slow, but the most important thing is that you separate the notes first and then the rhythm, okay? Now, if you're struggling with reading, I'm doing a workshop this coming Saturday exactly on this plus many, many other things um, and everything to get you reading fluently, you know, just without even thinking about it, like like you normally read a book, that's the, that's the aim, okay? So I'm doing this workshop, you can find the link in the bio in the description, uh, in my profile as well, and I hope to see you there. And remember, notes first, rhythm first, or rhythm first, notes first, it doesn't matter, okay? But you wanna target one at the time, so then when you put them together, it's easier to play, okay? Check it out. So I'm gonna make up a very simple melody with a very simple rhythm and I'm actually gonna show you what I mean. Okay, so the melody goes something like this. Okay, so this is what I actually mean. So hopefully you can see the score, I'm gonna put it down here as well. Okay, so firstly, we're gonna concentrate just on the notes, okay? So forget about the rhythm, we're just gonna play the notes really, really slowly. So now for the purpose of this video, my notes were not so long, so I would actually play them even longer, okay? Because that gives you the possibility of really focusing your attention to one and every single note. That's the important thing, okay? And I will repeat this process many times, you know? Maybe you start with a very long note and as, as you do it, the long note becomes a little shorter, but still long, okay? Because you need that repetition, you know? And your eye needs to go like, oh, that's an F sharp. Oh, that's an F sharp, okay? So that's the first thing to do, okay? Now, the second thing to do would be to do, uh, to work on the rhythm, okay? The first bar is only a bunch of the, of, of eighth notes. Uh, there's a really cool thing that you can do if you're struggling with eighth notes, and this is what it is. So this is the beat. One, let's take it slower. Three, four, one, two, 
four. That's the beat, okay? If I put my hand on top, one, two, three, four. My hand is actually gonna split the, the beat in two equal parts. One, two, three, four. 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 I'm only coming down with my hand and no coming up, okay? That's it, okay? So that's really important to know. So the first bar is actually taken care of. That's it. One, two, three, four, okay? Now in the second bar, there's a rest involved. So this is what it's gonna sound like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, if I do the thing on, on my leg a little slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you notice on the two, okay, I have a rest, which means I'm just gonna go up, down on in the air. Boom, like one, two, three, four. Okay, all these little things are really help. And if you notice, my saxophone is here. I'm not even playing. Okay, I'm just figuring everything out in here with my hands, with my voice, and you know, all these little techniques in order for me to be strong on rhythm and strong on notes. So when I go back and play the whole thing, I'm basically doing, not thinking anymore, okay? And that's the goal, okay? The more you practice separately, notes a lot, rhythm a lot, the better you're gonna become, okay? And then eventually, without even thinking, you're just gonna be reading without even, yeah, without even thinking, okay? So you should give this a try if you're struggling with your reading or if you just wanna improve your reading uh, because it's just gonna help a lot, you know? You, you're trying to avoid being overwhelmed by the amount of information that you have on the score, okay? And if by targeting different uh, building blocks, let's call them, then you're gonna be master, you're gonna be mastering every single block and then when you put them together, you're just gonna be stronger, okay? So, uh, the worship is on Saturday, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this plus many, many other things that will improve your reading okay and we're gonna make you more aware of the pulse of the beat and different and the notes and different different things the link is in the profile if you want to join us it'll be amazing to have you um yeah that's it from here that's it i'm gonna play with the dogs over here <laughs> take care bye